Read or listen to all of the headlines in one place. Excerpts from the Drone Life Drone News of the Week, August 12th. Click on the titles below for the full story. DDC gets approval for drone delivery of dangerous goods, broadening applications. Dark, dirty, and dangerous describes the ideal job for a drone. With Drone Delivery Canada's DDC newest approval, the company can add dangerous goods, which can include certain medical supplies, to their Drone Transport Initiative delivery program. Combined with DDC's approvals to fly beyond visual line of sight, BVLOS, the company is demonstrating more of the real benefits of drones in supply chain logistics. Our in-depth review of Auto EVO Lite Plus. 2022 is the year of pushing the chip shortage to the edge by developing smaller UAS that are more reliant on multiple microprocessors and chips to enable their advanced autonomous functions that enable data collection at scale. Auto Robotics has remained in step with the competition by introducing the EVO Lite Plus and the EVO Nano Plus, two drones boasting capabilities consistent with what the industry is demanding. Both platforms have taken what's great from the EVO2 and packed them into smaller aircraft that are useful to commercial and recreational pilots. Drones for Ukraine, Quantum Systems sends long endurance vectors. German drone manufacturer Quantum Systems has accepted a commission from the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine for the distribution of the company's vector reconnaissance drones. A portion of the order has already been delivered, with the drones currently seeing active deployment. The remainder of the order is currently in the preparation and processing stage, with delivery planned to take place following the training of Ukrainian forces and drone pilots. U.S. Senate introduces Drone Infrastructure Inspection Grant Act DIIG Act. A bipartisan group of three U.S. Senators have introduced the Drone Infrastructure Inspection Grant DIIG, Act, which would establish a grant program for local governments to increase use of drones, invest in next-generation workforce, says a press release. U.S. Senators Jackie Rosen, Democrat Nevada, John Boozman, Republican Arkansas, and Richard Blumenthal, DCT, have introduced the Drone Infrastructure Inspection Grant Act, which would authorize $100 million in competitive grants to use American-made drones to perform critical infrastructure inspection, maintenance, or construction projects, says the press release. This bipartisan bill would also authorize $100 million in grants for workforce training and education to prepare the next generation of workers in this field. Airversity on Dawn of Drones, August 10. Join Don and Bronwyn Morgan, CEO and founder of Airversity, as we continue developing industry leaders month on the Dawn of Drones podcast, sponsored by Skidio. Airversity has locations in 11 cities across the U.S. and a center of excellence in St. Louis, Missouri to train, educate and inspire people of all walks of life and ages to become drone pilots. Learn more about the variety of Airversity offerings from Part 107 training and how you can plug into this incredible ecosystem that is developing industry leaders for today and the future. A 2Z drone delivery new winch can deliver any box up to 22 pounds, video. Commercial Drone Delivery Solutions developer A2Z Drone Delivery is launching its second-generation rapid delivery system, the RDS-2. This automated delivery winch does not require specialty cargo boxes and boasts the highest payload capacity on the market at 10 kg 22 pounds. The company is also launching the RDST, a new off-the-shelf integrated cargo drone delivery system for last-mile deliveries. These new products align with the company's goal of addressing consumer protection concerns with residential drone deliveries. In carrying out their deliveries from altitude, A2Z Drone Delivery Solutions keep spinning UAV propellers far away from recipients and reduce the privacy and noise-related concerns that come with low-flying drones. Gremsey introduces Carbon Heavy Lift Gimbal for Industrial Drone Use Cases AEVO. Leading manufacturer of stabilizing gimbals Gremsey introduces AEVO, a heavy lift gimbal for industrial drone use cases. AEVO is the heavy lifting carbon gimbal with the highest payload capacity ever for industrial applications, says the company. Designed by Gremsey's world-class engineers for stabilization and reliability, the AEVO features major upgrades in mechanics and electronics. 
Sensys adds LiDAR options to long-range, BVLOS fixed wing. Sensys Technologies, a leading developer of Beyond Visual Line of Sight, BVLOS, unmanned aerial systems, is incorporating LiDAR into its offering of universal payload options. Sensys provides a unique remote sensing solution that offers an innovative approach to the collection of aerial information for use in sectors such as infrastructure, agriculture, public safety and more, by assembling the leading airborne intelligence software and hardware solutions. Sensys is now implementing LiDAR into its Centero family, a line of BVLOS-capable fixed-wing vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, drones. Amazon Drone Delivery Video reveals delivery mode and more. The newly released Amazon Drone Delivery Video, embedded below, shows off Amazon's latest aircraft model and reveals their proposed mode of delivery. Amazon's delivery program is set to begin in California and Texas later this year. Amazon was represented at a recent White House summit on advanced air mobility, where they discussed gaining public acceptance for drone delivery and other applications with other industry stakeholders. The Amazon drone delivery video is a stunning communications effort, fascinating to drone industry followers and any resident wondering what the service will look like, while explaining the process of engineering and testing that's been in the works since 2013. Dragonfly Earnings CEO says commercial drone market at inflection point. Dragonfly Incorporated, the innovative drone hardware and services company, announced its second quarter results on August 9, 2022. The key points from the Dragonfly earnings call. Revenue for the first quarter was $2.37 million, an increase of 19.6% year-over-year. Gross margin was 42.8% compared to 36.8% in Q1 2021. Net loss excluding non-cash charges was $5.45 million compared to a $3.27 million loss in Q1 2021. Cash balance at the end of March was $16.2 million.